Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Dino and I am not dead, believe it or not. Despite popular belief, I am very much alive. Uh, today in this video, I'll be telling you where I've been and we're just going to be playing around on duels. So if talking isn't your, talking isn't your type of uh, video, it's not, then just don't, 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 don't watch this. So let's see, just start two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I decided I would be going to volunteer at a summer camp for a little bit. Uh, so I went there for a week. Actually, no, we'll, let's start further back than that. So, um, yeah, I uh, I was sick at the beginning of the month. And, um, yeah, you know, that, that, that that's one reason why I didn't record very much. And the second one, is that I went to volunteer at a summer camp next week. And, of course... Uh, when you uh, when you are, are among kids like like you do in the summer camp, uh, I was volunteering by the way as a counselor. You uh, t can tend to pick up a uh, oh I sour sour sushi. You tend to pick up colds from the little germ factories that live there. So that's fun. So after I got better, I decided to get sick again, and that was just in time. That was just in time for uh, me to go on vacation. I went to Niagara Falls for a week, like up in that area. If you don't know where Niagara Falls is and you've been living underneath a rock for the last five years. Yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, you have what you have, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, let me rephrase. Yeah, I went to Niagara Falls for a week and that was fun. Uh, I was sick, uh, I ended up getting sick to some of the first night, so that's even more fun. Anyways, you don't need to know that. Um, so what did I do? I, uh, uh for first day I play, or I, um, we were in Toronto for the first night. We went to go see this really cool, ta uh, really cool um, mansion called uh, Casa Loma. Basically, what it is, it's um, 17th. Well, not 17th century. It is based off of 17th century buildings, and it's the only uh, the only full castle in Canada. So that's kind of cool. It was an Edwardian style type of building. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, that's what we did in Toronto, and then we went to Chinatown after that. That was kind of cool. Uh, no, they do not eat cats or dogs, despite, uh, the, despite, the, um, what people say. They eat lots of squid, actually. I, I tried my first squid, and that was very good. Uh, I recommend squid, for sure. Uh, who is this? Ex-Ninja Boy. Alright. He's trying to get on top of the trees like a, like a ninja. Uh, anyways, after... The, the next day, we traveled to Niagara Falls. We went to this place near Niagara Falls called the Welling Canal. So basically, what the Welling Canal is, it's ba it's um, the, the the one of the major trade canals that leads straight into Niagara uh, into uh, the United States from Canada. It's a joint project between the two countries. Um, basically, because well, if, if you don't know the geography, the area between uh, Lake Ontario and Lake Erie is, um, well, a 500 foot drop most of the time. <laughs> so that's why you, um, you don't, uh, you, yeah, you, 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 good luck getting your boat over the falls, basically. Uh, everybody's lagging for me. Actually, I'm probably the one lagging. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah. Anyways, while we were there, we saw this really cool uh, freighter ship. I don't know where it's from, but uh, apparently it was carrying like 30 tons full of wheat on it, which was pretty neat. And yeah, the ship was massive. It was about maybe five, five times my height and about... Uh, Maybe 50, 60 kilometers long, or not kilometers, like, and the close to like probably like 300 feet long, actually, if you know your feet. Um, yeah, after, and then, 
the next day we went to go see the actual falls. We went on the boat over uh, at where, where we were right next to the falls. It was pretty cool. Um, we, um, yeah, the boat was called the Hornblower. Basically, it took you right where, right, like, underneath the falls. They told you interesting facts about the falls. Uh, fun fact about the Canadian fall. It was the, it produces the, or dumps the highest, largest amount of water out of it per second, more than any other waterfall in the world. Uh, every second, 750, uh, 50, a thousand gallons of water drop off, drop all over the falls every every second. So that's that's pretty neat. I find. Uh, I gotta kill somehow. All right. Um, let's put that in here. I've been I've not been paying attention at all. Um. Yeah, and then the, uh, that was cool. Uh, what else? What else did we do that day? We went to a bird aviary. Well, of course, the bird aviary. What other type of aviary, aviaries are there? Not, certainly not for dinosaurs. <laughs> how much? Despite how much I want. Oh, it's Pocky. Hi, Pocky. Shout out to my man Pop Pocky, who probably doesn't watch my videos. But shout out to him, anyways. Oh, stop shooting me. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, we went to the bird. This bird aviary is apparently the largest free free free, free flat free, 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 free flying. Aviary in Canada, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there was over 400 different species of birds there. I actually got a hold of pair on my on my arm, which is pretty neat. Uh, and yeah, after that, uh, we went we went home that day. Uh, watched another movie. Where did the movie? Uh, I can't remember what it was. Anyways, <clears throat> I watched a lot of a lot of movies. And I'm still sticking his pin tail. Um, the next day we went to this place called Clifton Hill. Basically, think an, an think of an unorganized amusement park, and that's what Clifton Hill is. Except for except it's a street in the middle of the city of uh, of Niagara Falls. So that's pretty cool. Basically, it has lots of different um, lots of different arcades and fun little games like that along the street. And there was a giant Ferris wheel that. I that was scared that was scared me a little bit. I don't like heights, and I but I went on one because I'm dumb. Um, and also, uh, we also went uh, on a couple of these really cool rides. They're called they're called sixty rides. So what they are is like you you sit down in this chair and you put on these little sun uh, these little three D glasses. Uh, some of it's being yeah, put on these little three D glasses, right? And, and, um, what was I going to say? And basically, the, the, the ride moves while things, uh, well uh, things come at you, and you have to shoot zombies in this one. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty realistic. It got, got me, it got shut, made me scream a couple of times, actually. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, w I would not handle virtual reality very well for that sort of stuff. Um, and then the highlight of my day that day, I um, I, I went go karting for the first time ever. If you don't know what a go kart is, it's uh, well, you, it's a like, it's like a little uh, car, but yeah, you you drive it on a, on a closed track. So yeah, I drove for the first time. I did pretty good it's until I until I ended up accidentally plowing this guy into the side of the into the side of the arena. So that was a bit embarrassing, but I didn't get pulled off the track. That's that's good though. The good thing is I didn't get pulled off. Um. Anyways, uh, after that we went home. No, that that day. Um. Yeah, uh, no, no, we didn't go home that day. We went home the next day. Um, uh, that day we went to um, uh, the the, ne the the next day we went to uh, um, uh, what did we do that day? Basically, a relaxing day. We went down to the this uh, fort called Fort George. It's basically an 18th century 18th century 
18th century uh, um, fort, I guess, dur during the War of 1812. Wow, 18th century fort and War of 1812. Who would have thought? For all of you Europeans who have no clue, or possibly no clue, what the War of 1812 was in Canada, it's basically a fight between the British and the Americans during the time where the Napoleonic Wars were going on. That's, that's nice. Yeah, there's a reason why it doesn't get talked about very much. Because nothing really happened in it. Like, literally, it ended in a, in a draw. Like, in the declaration, or like the, not declaration, but the, the um, treaty or whatever you call it, it was said that the, the war was ended in a draw, and the border was set back exactly to the way it was before uh, before the war started. So, yeah, t uh, top of their list of useless wars, am I right? It, or, like, non-profitable or anything about that for wars type of thing. What's this guy, what's this guy doing? Um... Yeah, so that's where I, that we did that, and what else did we do that day? We went to, um, um, uh, well, we went to this place, this Laura Secord house. I imagine most of you guys don't know who Laura Secord is. She's basically a Canadian war hero. During the War of 1812, she went to go war in, uh, war in this one general that he was going to be, uh, he's going to be, um, like attacked by the by the Americans because that they stayed in her house after they after they took over her city and yeah I'm not a good history teacher guys now she walked 22 miles to go tell to go tell them so that's that's something 22 miles is probably about like 40 kilometers I guess um so yeah that's that's cool she walked it in 16 hours so. It's pretty pretty good pace. Um, yeah, but because of her, the British general and his guys didn't get killed at all. So, oh, at least not in that battle. They might have gotten killed later on in the war, but you know, she's, this is called a war hero, shall we? Come on, dude. Oh, I died, dude. Um, anyways, so that's where I've been the last couple of weeks. Uh, no, I'm not going to end here. I'm going to keep fighting, I guess. Um... And then the next day we came home in the busy traffic. Ne ne never drive from Toronto to King to where I live in in the prime hours of the day. It's just it's just a no. That's a, that's a no. Just don't you just don't do that because Toronto is crazy. It's a crazy city. I, I like Toronto. I really do. But the traffic there sucks. Like it, it's just terrible. Yeah, we don't talk about Toronto traffic. It's just not good. Okay. Yeah, don't go. Don't uh, go to Toronto, but say, take the subway. Yeah, or take the train to Toronto and then take the subway around Toronto and go see the CN Tower and all those other more popular tourist attractions. Shut them. Shut them. Missed him. Missed him. Missed him. Missed him. Missed him. Missed him. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let's just go in. How come I, I do so good when I when I'm not when I'm not recording? But when I, as soon as I record, I start messing up. Go away. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm gone. Go away. Don't hurt me, please. Please. Okay, I think he. Nope. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Ah! No! No, please! No! No! Aw. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was on vacation. That's where I was. And now where, I'm, where am I going to be? I'm going to be in school. Yeah. So, don't expect too much stuff from on this channel. I will try and record bit more than what I have, because I mean, one, one, one video per two is not exactly what I call good, uh, good, uh, common, or good scheduling and whatnot, but, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this, um, in the future, I'll, going, we're gonna have a couple of series started, and, yeah, that's gonna be fun, so, thank you guys so much for watching, 
This has been Dino, and goodbye.